Hello students, today we are going to discuss the chapter how do organisms reproduce. In class 10, this chapter in term 2 is going to be very important and the topic we are discussing today is DNA copying. Students, as we all know that every living cell, be it a prokaryotic cell or an eukaryotic cell. Both of them, they have their own genetic material and this genetic material which is present in the living cells is the DNA. Generally, the DNA is present in a very compact form in the structures which are called as chromosomes. In a eukaryotic cell, these chromosomes are present inside a cell organelle which is called as nucleus. Whereas, in the prokaryotic cell, the DNA is present in the cytoplasm. Be it present in the cytoplasm or present inside the nucleus, the transfer of characters takes place through the DNA itself. So, when one cell it forms or it gives rise to another new cell which can be either two or more than two in some cases. So, both these new cells which are also called as the daughter cells, they carry the genetic information from the parent cell and the genetic information from the parent cell is transferred through the genetic material that is called as DNA. Sometimes the daughter cells have exactly similar characteristics of that of the parents. But at some times they have some type of variations from the parent cell. Be it the exactly similar characteristics from the parent cell or having some variations from the parent cell, the changes are carried through the DNA itself. So, in a nutshell what happens is whenever the new cells are formed, the DNA that is transferred from the parent cell into the daughter cells, it is transferred through a very important nucleic acid that is present inside the cells that is called as the DNA. Now, if a single cell has to disperse its own characteristics to its daughter cells, it should be having an equal amount of DNA so as the chromosomes or the characteristics are equally or exactly transferred. This process of transfer of the genetic characteristics in exactly similar process in exactly similar amount and the quantity happens due to a very important biochemical process and that process is called as DNA copying mechanism. DNA copying mechanism in other words it is also called as DNA replication. Though this DNA replication is a very complicated process which involves a lot number of enzymes or if a cell has to make its own copies, 
the exact amount of DNA and exact quality of the DNA has to be transferred to the new cells. Most of the times DNA copying is error proof and being this process as error proof we generally do not find any kind of variations. But it is not the case every time. If the DNA copying becomes slightly different or slightly modified which is a rare occurrence. of any error then this particular process may lead to some variations in the organisms. These variations in organisms may be quite fatal or sometimes it can be also beneficial. If these, organ if these variations are beneficial, they are going to give rise to new species with better survival abilities but at the same time if it is fatal or with some kind of deformities it may lead to death of an individual. For example, if we say that the bacteria have evolved a lot due to the variations which were beneficial to their survival, thus the bacteria can be observed living in varied climatic conditions. They are found in hot springs, they are found in ice capped conditions, they are also found in uh, soil, water. So, all these inhabitations performed by bacteria is only possible if these variations have got some kind of beneficial effect upon them in their cells. So, we can say that DNA copying is a very important biological process which happens to be taking place when a cell divides and forms new cells or a cell undergoes any type of division process. DNA copying is a very error proof mechanism shown by any cell, but sometimes this DNA copying may lead to some kind of variations which may be either very fatal or beneficial. In the next video, we are going to discuss about the types of cell division and how the reproduction process is affected due to the cell division processes that is mitosis and meiosis. So, see you until next time in the next video, take care.